Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the new Pepwave AP1AC Mini, do an overview and unboxing, and run some speed tests. The AC Mini is Pepwave's latest access point, and it is capable of running at the new wireless AC standard. That means 2.4 and 5 GHz simultaneous Wi-Fi, as well as much faster local speeds. Included is a warranty card, and the actual access point itself. And in the bottom of the box, they have included the 12 volt AC adapter, and then some mounting hardware for the included mounting bracket. Because the device is compact, it's meant to be mounted on a wall or ceiling out of the way, so the included mounting bracket is a real bonus here. Two holes let you secure it pretty much wherever you want. Even though the AC Mini is just a few inches square, it's not lacking on features. Around the back is the connector for power, status and Wi-Fi lights, a reset button, and then an Ethernet port. The AC Mini not only runs with the included adapter, but it's also power over Ethernet, giving you optimal placement. Compared to the AP1300M, the AC Mini is a very small device with almost the same feature set. So now let's talk about actual performance between the AC Mini and the 300M. We have the 300M and a phone hooked up to the Wi-Fi of it. Both of these access points are on the same router, so we're going to get a comparison between the two and their capabilities. So clicking begin test on the 300M Wi-Fi, we have a 24 millisecond ping, which is reasonable for our wired internet connection. Download speeds look like are going to be in the 20 to 22 megabit per second range, so not bad. And as far as upload speed goes, looks like we're going to hang anywhere in the 8 to 11 megabit per second range. So again, great numbers, definitely what we would expect out of this 300M device. So with that as our base speed, we're going to go ahead and switch the phone over now to the Wi-Fi network of the AP1AC Mini. We'll go ahead here and select its save network, and we'll connect. So now the phone has switched over on its networks. We're going to bring speed test back up, and we're going to hit restart test. This way we're testing the exact same server, but using the new access point. Right away you can see a huge improvement in speed. Where we were getting 20 to 22 megabits before, right now we're passing 35 megabits. This is the exact same internet connection, same primary router, just the AC1 Mini instead of the AP1300M. Upload speeds look like they're going to be slightly faster than the 300 as well, giving us better than 10 uh, to 11 megabits per second. Without doing anything to the router or the internet connection, you can see using the AC Mini can actually improve your quality of service. Management of the AP1 AC Mini is also very straightforward. It uses a new user interface that more closely matches the current balance and max series routers that are available from Peplink. Just because the AC Mini is easy to set up does not mean it's lacking in features either. You can configure everything from specifics on the Wi-Fi network, and there's even band steering, which will automatically decide what frequency a connected device should connect to and at what speeds. Once connected to the network, the client list will tell you exactly the capability of that device. The top device is connected at AC with a maximum speed of 430 megabits per that device's limitation. The AC Mini includes everything you see here. You'll just need to add an Ethernet cable to connect it into your network and an optional power over Ethernet adapter if you want to run it without the power supply. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and for more information on the AP1AC Mini, visit 3gstore.com.